Uh, I'll do another one here. Open G. Uh, this one is... This is a tune by one of my uh, favorite guitarists, a guy named Leo Kaki, who was one of John Fahey's discoveries in a lot of ways. Um, this is a tune, this is probably one of the slower tunes that he wrote, but it's still very beautiful in my opinion. This is a tune called Crow River Waltz. people were interested in playing in open tunings, how would you recommend they get started? Um, well, there are a, a couple of books available. Uh, in fact, I think there there's um, a book that was written by John Fahey before he died about playing in open tunings. Um, I can't remember the exact title of it, but if you did a search, you know, internet search for, for some of his books, you would probably find some. Um, and of course, uh, some of Leo Kaki's music is in open tunings. So if you purchase some of his books or transcriptions, um, you would certainly get a pretty good taste of some open tunings. Um, Are they like in tablature form? Mm -hmm. 
Yep, yep, very much so. Uh, there's a great web website uh, called uh, stropes.com, S-T-R-O-P-E-S.com, that has all of his printed music uh, available. Not all of it, but a, a good portion of it. Um, and uh, those are those are probably the best resources to get started. Um, it's it's it, it can be a big challenge because you feel like you have uh, sort of abandoned what knowledge you might have acquired in playing in, in standard tuning when you retune everything. But um, the uh, you, you kind of get to a certain point where you realize that you can transfer some of your knowledge that you have to um, to whatever particular open tuning you're having in terms of sort of chord voicings and things like that. And another great way to get started with open and tunings, and I'll get in a, a real shameless plug for myself, <laughs> is to find a good teacher. <laughs> and 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 I I teach uh, you know beginning and intermediate finger style guitar, and a lot of that material in that level is in open tunings and I, and I can help you out and other teachers can help you out sort of navigate them a little bit um, and those are probably the two two or three of the best ways to get started and how do they find you if they want to take a lesson um, they can uh, email me through my website which is uh, michaelcamine.com um, I teach at uh, CV Lloyd's here in, in Champaign so if you stop by CV Lloyd's they should have some of my cards uh, set out on the front counter, maybe not, but uh, at any rate, they know how to get a hold of me, um, and so that's probably the best way to get a, get in contact. Now, uh, like my last show, I had a guy playing what he called Piedmont style blues on the guitar, which mm -hmm. is I think pretty much all in standard tuning, but sure. it's still a finger picking style. Mm -hmm. Now, is the finger picking style that you use with open tunings a little different than that? Uh, he uses a lot of alternating bass, of course, with that style, and uh, I just wonder, and he talked about having to learn patterns, finger-picking yep. style patterns, so is it kind of the same thing when you're doing open tuning? Yes, very much so. A lot of those same patterns are are uh, are still employed when you use open tunings. Um, just happens that it, it just, it kind of opens things up a little bit for you. You can, uh, you can, um, like I mentioned, it kind of frees up some of your fingers to, to play maybe more melodic things or do other sorts of things. Just provides you a little bit different f freedoms than standard tuning would. Yeah. So. Mm -hmm. 